Hi, this is Jason Aarons with Dimension Data, and uh, today the request is how do I gather serial numbers from my devices? Uh, normally, this requires SNMP connectivity to the devices. If there's any firewalls or um, routing issues in the network, we have to have SNMP reachability um, to the end devices. Um, normally, I use a tool like um, Kiwi Cat Tools, uh, Orion uh, Network Performance Monitor, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to gather the uh, chassis serial number from a device. Um, one of the keys to this too is uh, older Cisco 2600s, 5500s, the uh, serial number wasn't available via show version or wasn't available via an SNMP query to the device. So this is only going to work with uh, newer routers like for example uh, the 2800, 3800, uh, the new G2s, the, the uh, 2900, 3900, the newer uh, Catalyst 6500s, uh, it won't work. Obviously, the uh, chassis serial ID is probably different for uh, products Cisco has acquired. Uh, for example, the AeroPoint content switches, the 11503. Um, so you kind of have to look up what is the MIB value to get the chassis serial number from the device. Um, in this case, I did a quick search using the Cisco SNMP Object Navigator and found that the OID is. Uh, 1.3.6.1.4.1.9.5.1.2.19 for a Catalyst 6509. So I simply copied this into a uh, uh, notepad and uh, I'm actually on the uh, Orion Network Performance Monitor server. And what I'm going to do is create a custom puller um, that's going to pull that chassis serial number string um, from the devices. Um, so you need to go to Start, Programs, and then Universal Device Puller. You can't get to this via the uh, web uh, console. You have to actually remote desktop into your uh, Orion uh, Network Performance Monitor server and uh, open up the uh, Universal uh, Device Puller. This is where we can customize MIBs. For example, say you got some foundry equipment, some other third-party gear. Uh, you can actually go in and uh, you know add a new device puller. So in this case, you'd simply say um, add new, um, and uh, you would put in that that chassis serial number 1.3 uh, on there. You'd hit next and then save. Um, next step would be to assign the polar uh, to the Cisco devices. There's not really uh, a way from the web console to assign this uh, polar. So um, in this case, I'm going to pick the chassis string. Uh, then I can, you know, if I've got my Cisco nodes node, node sorted, I then want to finish and apply this uh, string to those nodes. At that point, I can exit out of. Now, that's going to allow um, Network Performance Monitor to start querying devices um, for the chassis serial number, but it's not going to display it up on the screen. So in order to get it to show up, you need to be in an, an admin, and you have to go under Admin and then Manage Views. Once you go into Manage Views, usually under Node Details, um, you want to edit the Node Details, and you want to click Add to add the Universal Device Polar. When you add it, it's going to be under Node Detail Reports, and then Universal Device Polar Status is what you want to add. Once you add that, you'll now start to see the chassis serial numbers show up in SolarWinds. Um, so now if I go back to my home, so all I'm doing is changing my view to include that universal device puller. So now I'll click on my, uh, this is actually a Catalyst 6509, and now you'll notice there's a new view uh, on the left hand bottom corner of the universal device puller status. I like to pull other things, you know, uh, power uh, remaining, um, fan, you know, any, any other information that may not be in the default uh, SolarWinds view. So this chassis serial number is SAD083406KY. And if I wanted to run a report, uh, once all the devices have pulled the serial numbers, I can simply go to start. This is the uh, SolarWinds server uh, program. And under alerting, reporting, and mapping, there is a uh, report writer. And when I open up the report writer, I'll have to create a new custom report that includes that polar information. So I'll go into select fields. I'll add a new field.
Uh, I'm in the wrong. So what I'll do is I'll say new. And then I'll actually go into uh, custom uh, polars. And then I'll go under uh, polar name. And then I can actually pick, uh, you know, I can take a look at all of my polars. And if I wanted to, I could actually just uh, pull out the um, the one that is just the uh, Cisco chassis serial number. And then. Uh, take a look and save my report and then execute my report so this would I would obviously I'd want to do more than just chassis serial number I want to do the host name chassis serial number um, you know I could put some other details in there uh, but again that is the uh, Orion report writer uh, overview